tutorials by Andrew Buckle. In this tutorial I'm just going to show you how you can combine oil paint effects with artistry and then create some really quite colourful garish imagery just from a very basic image like this. This one's of uh, Withensy looking out to the sea. Right, now first thing to do just go to the art history and I'm going to go for a very small size brush here. I'm going to go for about four and opacity 78 and I'm going to go for loose long zero zero there and the brush I'm just going to quickly show you the brush tip there's the brush tip it's just a very very basic star design actually slightly blurred one but that's not a big deal particularly and the space inset to one percent there's a bit of that color dynamics you just uh, set the purity up there to about 92 etc a few other settings like transfer and message anyway now once you've done that, what you can do then is just go over here and I've got a snapshot here, but what I want is a snapshot of the using the stylized and oil paint. So I'm just gonna I've got a setting here of 9.5, really push it up to the limit. Now one thing with this, I always feel that oil paint needs a couple of applications, three or four, to actually make a really sort of nice sort of smeary sort of effect. Now I'm going to save that as well as a new snapshot in the history panel. New snapshot. Okay, and what I'm going to do, I'm actually going to now select that. That's just going to be the history state for the art history tool. And now with those brush, obviously the brush setting that I should show, you can actually just apply over there. And just see the design. Now if you actually think, well I actually want that more colourful. First, I mean, what you can do, I'm going to undo that. You can also quickly apply maybe a color look up before you actually continue. So, I'm just going to go for a whole range of different options here edge, amber, moonlight. Right, yes, that one's quite a nice one. That's a nice, colorful one. It looks really quite beautiful. I'm also going to save that. So, new snapshot, click OK. Now, I'm just going to go for that one. That's probably going to be a better option. Again, that uses a purity with the colour, and you'll actually see the colour. Yep, there's a the nice garish colour kicking in. So, like I said, you can go for the black and white. It's not, you can actually colour it later. But I think it's quite nice to start from colour as well. Just add it. I'm just adding it over this just design here, just following the lines. Of, that's the loose long, just follow the lines. And of course, you can come out to the sea as well. So you've got that. Now what you can do, you can also apply oil paint to that. So actually apply that a few times. And again, just go back over that. Just quickly add. And that's one thing about the art history is you can actually just add it locally. So you can really sort of make it focused on, change those settings if you wish. Maybe you just to make it really and of course you can modify the size as well. You can go up to the there, just increase the size a bit. Add colour there. And there you have it. Very super colourful design. Looks right. At that point I can also again apply filters and blur that slightly. Just add maybe a few more lines there. Right, actually once you've done that, you can then go to image and adjustments. And I'm just going to quickly go for colour lookup and maybe go for like edgy amber, foggy night, cold crimson, and so on and so on. Click OK. Another good tool to actually use to really make it bring it out, I think, is filter and camera raw filter. So I'll bring that, and then you can just use that to really make it quite golden. Design maybe change the exposure, clarity, vibrance. Click OK, and there you have it. Sort of very, very sort of molten, sort of golden glow design. Just using art history and the oil paint filter. Hope you found this of interest. Thank you much.